This is MC Miller's RE5C portable electrode and I'm going to show you how to properly set it up and charge it before taking it to the field. First thing you want to do is unscrew the copper rod assembly from the Lexan tube. You'll want to burnish the copper rod with a green scoring pad or non-metallic sandpaper. These green scoring pads are what we recommend. Try to avoid using oxide type sandpaper. It'll, uh, it contains unwanted metals into the surface of the copper rod. Once you clean the copper rod, you'll want to add deionized water or distilled water. Fill the Lexan tube just below the threads. Screw the copper rod assembly back on. And then shake it up pretty good until you see the copper sulfate crystals dissolve into the water. And you'll see a nice blue rich color. And you should still see copper sulfate crystals at the bottom of the half cell. Allow the electrode to set for 24 hours before using. The ceramic plug assembly must become moistened by the solution before taking it to the field. 